And alright guys, what is going on? How are you all doing? Welcome back to another video on the David Hammond Visuals YouTube channel. Now guys, this is, I believe, unfortunately or fortunately, depending how you look at it, the last at least talking video you're gonna see in this room, this composition here. We made it work, we ran it, you know, we really maximized it and and I'm stoked, like I'm happy. This is this is how the David Hammond Visuals channel started in this room. I can literally say started in my bedroom and uh, I can't wait for 2020 and just to really see how this channel grows because I'm gonna put a lot into this. So for the last talking video, if you guys are new here, these talk videos are just raw, there's no music for the most part, you know, just one-on-one, -on -one. we're chilling, we're chatting to help you guys and Prove yourselves as photographers and videographers, okay? So, oh, and this disclosure, the reason you're not gonna see this anymore is because we're moving, if if I didn't fill you in on that. So we're moving in three days uh, from recording this, if unless I record another video like this tomorrow. Anyways, so guys, in this video, you read the title. We are speaking of something along the lines of why you as a photographer, videographer, really, the only time you should use things like LUTs, effects, transitions, you know, overlays, just anything fancy on your photography, but particularly videography work, you know, when to use it and really the only time you should use it, okay? Now, this is very important and the reason I got inspired from this is because so in my last vlog that I did, which I will link just up here on my personal channel, in the first B-roll clip that I, I do videography on you know, both the channels, in the B-roll clip I shot with my friend Philip, it was of his gig, he was playing live, and there were quite a, a lot of effects in there, quite a few effects. It's, it's one of my favorite B-roll clips, and not because of the effects, the entire vibe, but nonetheless, there were a lot of effects. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it up there. I won't play it here, you can check it there. Um, and what I noticed is that obviously things that include a lot of eye candy usually get attention. So I showed the family, I showed them, and they were obviously super stoked. Not just because of the effects, but um, the effects did help. Now, I want to make it very clear to you guys that I don't think, and I don't, use effects on every single video. I use them very sparingly, and I just kind of sprinkled them in here and there. And why is that? You know, David, if you notice that people are usually more attracted to eye candy or things that pop out like effects, why wouldn't you just use it all, on all your videos? And that's an amazing question, an amazing point. And that's why I need to make this video. You should only, period, okay, use these effects as a photographer, videographer, when and only when your base or your foundation work is on point. Okay, now what I mean is before I, I put all those effects and overlays or, you know, things like that, I showed Philip just the base version. And that's initially what I was gonna go with. It was just good composition, lighting, story, flow, angles, just the base. And I showed that to him and he was absolutely stoked. Like he was like, dude, this is perfect, this, this is amazing. And that was that. Now what happened was, uh, Last second I decided, you know what, he, he, he's a musician so he plays music so he was just playing around with some sound effects and that got me thinking, you know what, let me just play around with some effects on this. So I did it, I showed him and again he was stoked, he was happy. But that goes to show that he was happy or the video itself was good only because the base of the foundation was good, you know. Never did, never, like, you know what I mean? Like, some people, it's so funny, they'll never show you something until all the little effects and little things are sprinkled on. And in my opinion, if that's the case, then that's really saying a lot about your base, your foundation. You know, you can relate this to fitness or anything. Like, so many people just look for that quick little finishing touch, whether that's the supplements or, you know, don't look at me unless I have a massive pump, you know? Like, if your foundation, your core, your heavy lifts, your numbers, I'm referring this to strength, if they're on point, it doesn't worry about all these superficial things of how pumped you are or how good your tank top looks and oh, you took your supplements this day. Like none of that stuff matters, none of it. And you can relate this with anything, fashion, anything. Like I'm not a fashion expert, but like, you know, some people won't leave the house if they don't have their chains on and their jewelry and all these little things. Like, and look at me, I'm wearing these things, right? But it doesn't matter. Like I can take this off in a second and go out because your base is on point, right? Your charisma, who you are, you got a nice shirt, you got some cool pants. Like you just need your foundation. So to come full circle for you guys as photographers or videographers or filmmakers or whatever, I believe you should only, 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 only use transitions or anything superficial. I'm not saying don't use them. I think they have a they have a place, definitely. And in that video, they definitely had a place. They definitely made it work. But I think you should only use that when your foundation and base is on point. And when I mean foundation and base, I'm talking about your story, your flow, your composition, your understanding of lighting, your angles, these things that you get inside your camera. This is 80 to 90% of it. Nine, I would say 90% in your camera. 
The 10% is just like the supplements and the fitness example. And the reason I use that is because I have another channel. Um, I'm very big into fitness and things like that. I've been doing that for many, many years. The 10% is the supplements. It's the stuff you sprinkle on top. It's the transitions. It's the effects. But a lot of people, unfortunately, have it backwards. They put their 90% into the transitions and effects and all these things. And they put 10% to the camera. They're like, oh, fuck it. I'll do it in post. And their camera work is bad. And now... I think people do this because they can initially get away with it. You know, maybe some videos are able to hide things. Trust me, in the long term, you will not be able to hide it. If you have bad cinematography or if your angles and your story and your lighting is poor, no, trust me, at some point, sooner than later, <laughs> people are going to find out. And these, these transitions and masks and things you're putting on, they're not going to save it. Trust me. It's just like fitness. You can get as pumped as you want, but eventually someone's going to see you and see the, you know, no offense, how small you are, how you're not really that strong and you're going to get found out. Okay. And I, and I, I don't make this video to ever make fun of people or like throw people under the bus. That's not the point. It is just the reality with photography and especially videography. Like I care about you guys and I want you to have good bases, good foundations. So then when you do choose to put on the fancy stuff, it's a cherry on top. Great. It's a bonus. Who cares? Right. I take supplements. I take pre-workout and creatine. But that is like literally just like a little, it's just a little cake on, on the top. It's a little icing. You know, it's just, just a little, because my base, my foundation, my understanding of movements, of compound lifts, of progressive overload, the, fu the fundamentals are on point, okay? So that's that, guys. That is, what are we at? We're at about six minutes. Just a short little talking video. Um, that's my take on it. I, I know this will probably upset or cheese quite a few people because <laughs> it's the reality. If it upsets you, then that's just saying something, you know? Like, I'm sorry. Focus on the foundation first and to come full circle, I guess on that, you know, where do you, where do you, you know, I'll, I'll finish it here. Where do you find your foundation and stuff, guys? You know this, you know the answer. And this is why we don't do it. You know, it is, you know, it's through the years and years and months and weeks and hours on hours of practice of putting in that work with the camera, going out into the field and shooting. Like you can't fake this. You can't replicate. You cannot fake the grind like you can't and I don't like to use that word but like it's like the gym like you can't manipulate or try to trick people with how many hours you put in like you, can, you just can't it's not that simple and I say that in such an empowering way because if you can begin to love the journey in the process and seriously just love photography and or videography or any passion for what it is as you should right you love it for it not because you're, you're putting out all these videos to get accolades and all all your congratulations no we do it because we actually enjoy doing it we love being out in the field the connections the the art the the freedom we can feel that's why you should do it so if you can love that all that stuff will come later man the cherry on top the accolades the this the that that all comes later right so love the process, get good at your foundation, get good at your camera, go out, shoot, practice, and that is that. And I'll finish it on this plug. This is not why I just made this video by any means, but the reason I make this YouTube channel, my courses, my, my entire brand of David Hammond Visuals is to be that foundation for you guys. Because when I first started off about four years ago, I'm not going to say there was no help, but like it was very sporadic and scarce. Like it did, like... I learned through doing, okay? So if you guys are interested, there is always the free photo video intro course. It's a half an hour video course, which takes one section out of my six mega courses. The mega courses are an hour and a half each long. We have the outdoor photography course, the outdoor videography course, the short film course, the music video course, the documentary course, and the commercial course. So if you're interested in any of those styles of photography and videography, get this intro course. It explains each section or has a section of each. And if you want after, you can purchase a full course. They're all extremely affordable guys. And uh, there is always one-on-one -on -one coach if you really want to take it to that next level. But if you don't, at least you have the free course or at least just watch my YouTube videos. I'm not saying you have to buy anything. Just watch these YouTube videos and learn from, from my mistakes and and grow as fast as you can. Okay, that's that's the whole point of David Hammond Visual. So finish there, guys. This is probably the last time you'll see this this uh, this room. We're going to make the next place look way better, believe me. It's only going to get, it's only going to go up, okay? And uh, that's that. So thanks, guys. If you want, you can check out that video. I'll link it up again here. Um, I'd recommend it. It's a really cool video. Uh, you guys will love it, but 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 watch it knowing what I'm talking about. The base is there, and then there's the cherry on top. So I'll link it up there. I'd recommend you check it out. It's about like a minute or two into the vlog. And uh, yeah, you can subscribe to that channel too, my personal channel if you're interested in that stuff, you see. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. I'll catch you on the next video. Keep creating, guys. Keep being original, authentic, and take your time. Build your foundation work because it's going to be probably... 
you know, the only thing standing in the, at the end of the day, which is what we want, you know, because all masks get revealed sooner or later. So make sure yours is good. Okay, that's it. I'm ranting. Thanks, guys. Much love. Till then. Peace.